What's up everyone, we're back here with another tutorial, and I've been dead for quite a while now. Um, been going through a lot, I have games releasing, and I've been working on a lot of commissions, but Roblox finally released emission maps. And that's quite a big thing, we've been waiting for this for quite a while now, I'm gonna keep the app short. I'll go ahead and display it on these models, show you guys what it looks like, what you guys are dealing with, and I'll give you guys a quick rundown on how to implement it in Roblox Studio and how to make your own emissive maps in Substance Painter, quick and short as usual. Uh, now these missions look quite simple, you don't see nothing too crazy going on, no glow, no emissive, um, nothing too fancy. I didn't make these for Mugen, by the way, if you want to see them in game, go ahead and check out the game. But I'm going to show you guys how these are going to look like with a mission. It's just normal meshes, right? Nothing crazy going on. And I'm just going to crank up. A cool thing over here is that you can actually recolor. Um, so you guys can already notice I have gradienting going on. There's a lot of cool things you could do with this, honestly, recoloring. And I have full masking control over this. It's really OP. This is why people have been waiting for this for so damn long. Um, but in order to get access to this, I will show you guys real quick. You have to go up to the beta settings and turn on. You guys see this? Glow, neon, coolness. Absolute coolness. Uh, last one. I'm gonna show you guys on this mesh right over here. I'm gonna crank it up intensity. Bam! You don't even you don't even see that coming, do you? Bam! Bam! This is all on the texture itself. No extra model added. This is a single model. Nothing too crazy going on over. What the hell? I didn't move like that for. Um, whoopsies. Let's let's do that one more time. Bam! And you guys can go ahead and recolor as well, depending on how you guys color it on the mask when you guys export it out of Substance Painter, which I'm going to show you right now. In order to get access to the emissive settings over here on your bottom right on properties, you got to go to File, Studio, no nope, Beta Features, and turn on emissive maps right over here. You got to save it and you got to restart your studio in order to get access to emissive maps. I believe they have also added it to the terrain and material service if you guys are builders you guys can go ahead and deal with that i'm not going to show you guys how to do that i'm a modeler i'm going to hook up my modelers with some quick tips um but so far we're just going to be dealing with the surface appearance you guys go ahead add a surface appearance inside a model i added a color map which is the texture the emissive mask which i'll show you guys how to export from from uh substance painter i'm a roughness just to keep it flat looking not so shiny you gotta keep it you know looking like fabric um but yeah the, the the power behind this is honestly insane the amount of things you could do with this the way you have a bar to fully control the color and the strength you could do a lot of cool things in game the way you can like make things power up as you get more power you get more emissive more girl more glow more aura um but okay anyways that's good enough of an introduction now i'm going to show you guys how to import or uh apply emissive maps from substance painter now i'm not going to show you guys how to make a model you, depending on any model you want you're just going to go ahead and model it the same way you guys do you guys do not have to cut out the mesh keep it one mesh i'm going to be using emissive maps in substance painter here we are again i'm going to be using the horries i made for uh mugen i don't have my texture over here now we're going to do is go ahead and mask whatever you want like the same way you're just texturing normally but instead of using color we're going to go ahead and use emissive now in order to get this emissive over here in substance spanner you gotta go up here to texture set settings and this emissive would probably not be here for you so what you would have to do is come into channels press the plus sign and add emissive and this gives you the emissive channel and you can turn that on right over here make sure you have your color off on the area that you want to be glowing emissive you have full control over the color and the the strength and the shade over here obviously you can upgrade the strength in roblox studio as well um but it gives you something 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 in the middle something soft and you can just crank up the brightness and bloom in roblox studio so you really don't have to worry about that main thing over here though is making sure you don't have any other color going over if you have to turn on color and i export the color map on this as well and then cover lap the cover uh the color overlaps with the emissive in roblox studio then you start having issues so make sure you have the color empty and you only use an emissive and uh, once you have your area masked for where exactly you want your emissive to be so it could be a decal it could be a texture it could be like a specific hand painted area again it's really up to you what part of your mesh you want to make uh emissive so we're gonna go ahead and i have this part selected i have this part selected and i do have the dragon as well also selected all right here is my dragon to give it a little bit of a red tent um just like that 
got our emissive applied onto this emissive applied onto this now what you want to do first is flip the spinner hasn't added the emissive map just yet onto the template Oop, wrong template let me go ahead and use the normal template which you would be using which would be this roblox surface appearance this one does not have emissive just yet i am assuming that roblox uh, that substance is gonna update and add the emissive since roblox has it now but until then you would have to go ahead and export all of your textures through this normally just like how you would do but in order to get your emissive map you're going to come over to honestly you could use any of these but the ones i prefer using is pbr metallic roughness turn off everything else and go ahead and, and export your emissive map which is at the bottom over here that's how you get your emissive map from down here go ahead and export that to wherever on your pc come over to roblox studio plug it into your surface appearance right over here emissive mass content and you have full power over the brightness and anything else that you want and that's basically the quickest speed run you'll probably get on emissive maps quick and speedy as usual if you guys are not used to me speaking too fast you guys clearly have not watched enough of my videos or have not been watching xqc so make sure you guys watch both of those videos um if it was too fast you're more than free to watch the video on slower speed but again i really want to see what you guys cook with this these are some really interesting cool techniques you can pull off with this people can get really creative i'm looking forward to what we're about to see in the next few creations um make sure you guys join the discord server it is linked in the description below if you guys have any questions we'll answer them as well uh, make sure you guys subscribe hit that like button in a lot more tutorials on the way i'm alive roblox finally updating so it's a lot more motivating to come and try some more cool things uh, so make sure you guys hit that subscribe button turn on notifications join the discord server and let me know what your thoughts are on this new emissive system in roblox studio see you guys in the next one peace out I was just scrolling around i just came across modelers hq if you guys are not aware of modelers hq it is a modeling server modeling department agency only available to top tier modelers so if you guys are looking for commissions uh feel free to join the server as well or if you are a client or a customer that are looking for good modelers make sure you guys join the server but one of our modelers already went ahead and used emissive maps for this and honestly this is a really cool thing i really like how he did this Got a little bit gradient thing going on. You can honestly boost up. You got stronger emission over here, a little bit darker shades in here. And this is one of the very many ways you can use emissive maps to really pop off. I really want to see your creations. Make sure you guys join the Discord server. Let me know what you guys be cooking with this. Because honestly, we're into a new phase or a new era of Roblox over here. But yeah, until next time. Peace out. See ya.